Hey there, uh, welcome to TurnIn.com. Happy New Year to you. Um, I'm excited to share with you our new peer review product that we're calling Peer Mark. Um, we think it's going to be a great addition to your classrooms. Uh, I'm going to show you my class. It's called Mass Media. And the first thing you can notice is that we enhanced um, the class inbox a little bit. Um, we wanted to surface some information we thought was really important to the instructors, things like assignment type, start due post dates. These are already um, visible to the instructor. Um, here, this is cool that you can see how many papers have been submitted. You can view the contents of your assignment just as you previously could um, by clicking view. And um, you can edit the settings for the assignment or submit papers um, as you could previously as well. But we are here to look at peer marks. So the first thing I'm going to show you for that is how to create and set up a peer review. Okay, so I'm going to hit new assignment. I'm going to click on the peer mark assignment and there's a description there on the right. A peer mark assignment is comprised of three steps. The first step is the um, just called assignment and that's sort of where you determine how many points is this and what are the start due post dates for this assignment. The second step is distribution. You decide how many papers you want your students to review. Um, and step three is questions where you set up and write your peer review questions. Um, it's really can just take minutes uh, for an instructor to set up. We wanted to remove a lot of the administrative overhead that normally accompanies a peer review. Um, so we, we think we've accomplished that. So um, this is how you do it. You select an assignment. So you select a paper, stereotypes in the media. That's the paper that I'm, my students are going to review. Um, the point value, I'm just going to make worth 16 points. And um, this is sort of the no-brainer grading option. It just automatically awards full points to everything that's been submitted. Um, but I don't work that way, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And here are my start due post dates. Um, we have a neat new calendar selector. It's a heck of a lot easier than what is currently out there. Um, but if you'd like to just enter it in via keyboard, you're welcome to do that just like that. Um, the time selector works in a very similar way as well. Okay. There's more options and they mostly have to do with uh, viewing things and um, late paper exclusions and, and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and skip that and just go on to the next step. This is where you decide how many papers you want your students to review. And so defaulted to just one review um, that the paper, it's a paper that's automatically system distributed by PureMark. And uh, it's just the system tries to do a lot of that work for you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this. I'd actually like my students to um, review two papers. No, let's just have them do three, but that third one I'll let them select it on their own. All right, so let's save that off, and then I have three total reviews for every single one of the students in my class. Um, if you want to learn more about how papers are distributed, you're welcome to do that. We have an article that discusses that. Um, if you're the type of instructor that wants to kind of go in there and fine tune, um, how the distribution works, you're welcome to do that by hitting the show more distribution options and here you can pair students together. Um, it's very easy, you just pair them up and type in their name and it's easy as that. We try to make it very easy, you can just browse for all the students in your class um, just as easily. You can just type it in and automatically it'll show up um, and then you just save off that pair. I like it, that looks good to me. Um, I want to let's exclude Sandra Smith from the review pool um, and and that's how you create your rules you can go in and edit them um, it's very simple it's all in line um, and then let's go to the next step all right we've completed step two we're gonna go to step three now and step three is where you add your questions and so the way that you add your questions is you just hit the add question button and you get the option of a free response question, a scale question, or you can use previously made libraries. So let's do free response question. And good question might be, um, how strong is the thesis? And you can set your minimum answer length of words. Um, once you're done with that, just hit add question, and boom, it's created, as you can see there. Um, you can add another question. I'm going to add another one. Just going to, oh, I see, I've done this before. So going to do this. Uh, again, just have a minimum of five words. I'm just going to add these questions together. Um, you can go ahead and, and just really easily just edit them. It acts very similarly to how you um, do the distribution rules. Um, it's nice because it's all in one place. You're not going to different screens. Um, you can just drop in uh, libraries 
And so here I have a library from my English 101 class, and uh, I remember I had some good questions in there. So I'm going to click on that, and all of the questions from my English library, English 101 library, show up. And I can quickly view them and decide I want to add this one, I want to add this one, not that one, this one, and this one. And I'm finished adding all the questions from that library. And as you can see, they're, they're all here. Um, I can go ahead and edit them if I want. And uh, it's all very easy. Um, I can reorder the questions. I think oh, maybe I want them to answer this one first. And when I'm done with that, just hit save order. It's all drag and drop. Um, and, and basically, I'm done with my questions. If I'd like, I can save it to a library for future use um, and just call it Pure Mark Composition. All right. And uh, I'm going to save this. And boom, it's saved. And. Um, I'm pretty much done with step three. I can even add questions, add instructions here. I forgot to talk about that. Um, these are the instructions that your student will see. Um, they'll see in their peer review. <laughs> All right, and this is optional, of course. All right, so you save and finish it, and you're done. Um, I could probably run through that really fast uh, without talking, and it would have taken just a couple minutes. But as you can see, it's very easy. Um, that assignment was created right here, and the, the dates are all there. Um, I want to show you what a peer mark assignment looks like that is already in progress. We have students who have submitted it, and so I'm going to view the contents of this assignment. One thing I forgot to talk about is that you can you know, edit your assignment settings just by clicking here, and it's exactly what you just saw. So just in case you made a mistake or you want to add something, you can do that. All right, but let's take a look at a peer mark assignment where some students have already turned in some reviews. So looking at my class here, it um, looks like Martin was the only studious one. So let's take a look at Martin's uh, reviews. And so I'm going to show details for Martin. And uh, I see that Martin has submitted three reviews. Um, he submitted it for Perry's paper, for Edward's paper, and for himself. So um, there's a system assigned. He selected Edward's paper on his own. And um, this was a required self-review, apparently one of the parameters for the assignment. Um, how do I grade these? Okay, I can grade it by, I can read the review here. So I just click on it and a new window opens and uh, Pure Mark loads up and here I have the paper on the left and the questions and the answers. Um, Perry's, uh, no, Martin's answers. All right, and then I can look at, you know, did you do a good job? It's not bad, I'm gonna give it a three. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next paper and so on. It's that simple, all right? And when you're done, all you gotta do is just hit close and you come back, you refresh this and voila, you know, there it is. That's the three that I assigned to Perry. Um, you know, we wanted to make grading easy. You can just hit edit grades from this step and, um, and grade it. And you're done. Automatically cal calculates. Very sweet. All right, so that's what a peer review assignment looks like. Um, I hope you like it. It's just a quick um, tutorial and a demo of what it looks like and how it feels. Um, if you want to find out more details, you can just take a look right here, coming January 2nd, 2010. Go to those new features and you can read up on it. We hope that you've enjoyed this, and we're really looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys use Peermark and uh, using it to help your students write better. Thanks a lot. Bye.